here's your host, Les Thompson. Hello, welcome to summer and welcome to Moravia. Yes, this is Moravia, which is part of the Czech Republic over in the southeastern corner of the country. And I'm in the middle of a Moravian forest. It's one of my favorite places to be in summertime. It's just so wonderful, the bird song, it's tranquil, it's, it's everything and you just enjoy it so much. But I'm going to show you on today's show a lot of things. I'm going to show you how the people of Moravia enjoy their summer, their bike riding, their horse riding, and getting out and doing very social things. They'll be doing grilling also in their backyards as we do barbecues in ours. You'll see all that happening inside Moravia. And later in the show I'm going to drop in on a high school in Moravia where the students there are English language students and they're finishing their studies and that's this summer they finish and let's hear about their aspirations for the future. Apart from that we also have in the show today uh, South Africa, dropping in on the wildlife of South Africa, including a group of lions who are going to be down by the waterside having a sip of water after a busy breakfast period. I think that's a safe time to meet up with the lions of South Africa. And then I'll show you some top spots in New Zealand. Love New Zealand, a very scenic country again, and I'll show you some wonderful places there. Now, later in the show, we get to the Journo's Journal. This is my somewhat uh, media look at things I come across and I want your help I need your help maybe on Twitter to try to get a wonderful natural park reopened and I'll show you why at the latter part of the show oh, I have to love a walk in the Moravian forest it's so good just a couple of tips though if you are walking in any forest in Europe, just stay on the set trails because uh, the long grass may have ticks and in some places, we don't know where exactly, but they can crop up. There are ticks which can be dangerous, so avoid those grassed areas. And also, there's another insect we have, the European wasp, similar to the bee, except it stings and stings, so don't wave your bare hands at it, whatever you do. And when you're outside eating, and you might move your eyes from your meal for a second. Just make sure that, similar to bees, nothing's landed in your food or worse still, in your drink. Now, that could be a real problem. Just keep that in mind, have a wonderful time. But in the meantime, remember, it's summer. So let's get into it. I'll show you a little farm close to here. This is it, it's called the Farmashka Bashta, which means, I guess, uh, farmer's bastion. And it's certainly a wonderful summertime refuge if you're out in the countryside to come in. They have a wonderful restaurant, they have a little pension if you want to stay over. They have tennis courts and a backdrop of forest which looks beautiful. And horses are part of this farm as well. They're out here and uh, they're looking at me but they're not making too much movement so I think I'll try my check on them. Dobry Dan! Ahoy! Cuddy! Cuddy! Honey. Not even a nay? Maybe that's just as well because nay in Czech means no. I think they're telling me no anyway. So that small farm is only just a short drive from the city of Olomots in Moravia, a major city here and once part of the great Moravian Empire. Has a lot of historic links and so do many of the towns of course here. But keep in mind, if you're going to drive, try to take the back roads because it's so scenic as you can see around here. Moravia is just lovely to look at, especially in summertime when you see the canola growing, you see all the forests around you nice and green and the small villages. It's all about those places. It's about the villages, the historic towns, and it's about the people. They like to get out, they like to socialize, and you can see them having a good time, often singing the traditional Moravian folk songs, which they seem to all know. <laughs> And knowing it's a landlocked country, you might be thinking, well, no beach. How do the Czechs keep cool in summer? Well, they have their ways.
With a sweeping vista like this, it's perfect for filming. And of course, many films are filmed in locations such as this, like the 1990s movie, that version of Joan of Arc, and in castles, in forest, everywhere in Moravia. Wonderful sets for film locations. In the Czech Republic, there are more than 2,000 castles, and lots of them have fairy tales attached to them, and many have been made into movies for that reason. Very nice, romantic stories. But of course they're more than that, they're real buildings and they have many historical figures attached to them as well. And here in Moravia we have our share of them too. Just look at this, this is Bozov Castle. Once belonged to the Teutonic Knights, of course they started well intentioned with the Crusades but became plunderers and murderers, but the castle itself, look at it. This is another castle which was attached to the Teutonic Knights. It was theirs, Sovereigns. This is a good example of a castle right here. I want you to walk in with me and see Stanberg Castle dating back to the 13th century. The first impression as you enter this castle is the rich sense of history existing within these walls. A place where nobles lived and worked and where wars and violent religious conflicts disrupted those lives. With local political power brokers and town merchants having to choose sides between Catholic and Protestant military forces. The chapel in this castle is a wonderful example of Moravian Gothic architecture, dating from the late 14th century, also with examples of Moravian sculpture and painting. Visitors step back into another time here as they enter the castle's showpiece, the Hall of Knights, where important matters were once debated. There are traces here of the Italian Renaissance style and in other parts of the castle, reflecting the dominant Renaissance style of architecture and decoration that has survived the changing ownership through the centuries. The castle now has young people depict the romance of the calmer historical periods of the castle with flowery poetry recitals, such as this girl explaining how she's now preparing herself for a meeting with her handsome lover. Okay, I think it's time to pop into school. You ready? So it's a very simple panel that we've got here. We've got six students from the gymnasium, the high school if you wish, in a Moravian town called Stanberg. And what we're going to do is we'll talk about the fact that they're learning English, they're to a very advanced degree, and what, what they're going to do about applying that, the language. And so we're going to find out a little more about these people. First of all, can I just ask you a name? Uh, my name is Gabriela. All right, so what do you want to do with the English language? 
so after passing my final, final exams here in this school, I want to go to university in Olomouc because I think that university is one of the best universities in the Czech Republic and if I pass also uh, entering exams, I will study there English, Russian, Polish and other languages, also management, economics and laws because uh, I think it's important for my job. And your job is going to be? Mm, I haven't thought about it, mm -hmm. but I think that languages are too important. Right. So, a lot of languages in there. Why so many, do you think? Because I like studying languages. Really? <laughs> yes. And it gives you, I guess, a wider scope for a job opportunity. Yes? Mm, yes. Mm. Excellent. Thank you, Gabrielle. And your name is? Margareta. I'm Margareta. And what do you want to do? So I would, my big plan is to be a teacher. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I would like to uh, teach young children uh, from 6 to 11 years. Right. And I think that uh, this year is the best because they are innocent and they, don't, they aren't worried about anything. Right, so no big issues yes. and you feel more comfortable with yes. that. But why English? Uh, English is uh, the, mo the most important language uh, nowadays and I know that if you want to travel abroad you have to know this language, so it is important everywhere. So you'd like to be a teacher maybe somewhere else other than the Czech Republic? Uh, in the Czech Republic because I I like to stay with my, fa with my family, with yeah. my friends there. And it's a beautiful country. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And your name is? My name is Martina. Hi Martina. So what about you? How are you going to apply all this English language that you've learned? I applied for a, a University of Economics mm -hmm. in Prague and I would like to study languages, French and English and economics. And I, I will so, what's your next step? Uh, what I want to do after... Yeah? I would like to travel a lot. I would like to visit many countries. And then I would like to own a restaurant or a, a hotel because I like to take care of people. Oh, nice. But uh, economics is a long way, really, from running a restaurant. So, which is the dream job? Is it being an economist or running that restaurant? I think it isn't so so long distance between the economics and on the restaurant because you need to know economics. That's very true because you you've got to have your budgets right, and of course, economics play a very important role in that. So that's the principal reason why you, you want to study economics? Yes. Okay, excellent. <laughs> and your name is? Yeah, Hi. Yeah. And what are you going to do with your life? Oh, I'd like to go to university as well with my friends. Yeah. And I applied to universities of economics and IT. And I'd like to become a businessman maybe. Mm -hmm. Any particular type of business? Uh, maybe the business is in IT. All right. So, do you have some knowledge with computers at the moment, or, oh, or yeah, computer programming? Yeah, the Yeah, you do computer programming? Yeah, databases in SQL and mm -hmm. something yes, like that. Yes, yeah. 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 Oh, well, good luck to you. But your first step now is to move on to university. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to pass my final exams, so that's like the first step for me. Well, we actually had some problems with the fluorescence playing havoc with the second part of the discussion with that panel, but you can find it all on that address. And these young people, well, they're moving away, some of them, others will stay, but they're all part of Moravia, and that's part of the Czech Republic. This is Moravia, and I think they'll miss a place like Stanberg. Stanberg is a, a lovely little country town about 18 kilometers from a major town called Olomots, but it's a green belt. Like my backyard here, you can see that it's a uh, fairly green, in summer at least. And the wall up here is a medieval wall from the 15th century, part of the old fortification wall around the town. So it's full of history and it's got forests behind and it's also got the Baroque church and the castle.
Anyway, we have to move on. So, stay with me for the second half of The Les Thompson Show. Oh, <laughs> no.